This is our facts of Mars. And this is part two of the coup against the president. In this uh, segment, it's going to be a little shorter than the first one. Is, uh, what I wanted to discuss is possible means of communication if they do this. Again, using my movie for backdrop, Utopia 2050. I conceived of a number of different methods of communication, assuming that they uh, wiped out cell phones and landlines, internet, that's what they do in the movie. And it's not unrealistic at all. Remember, uh, Schiff and Nadler are as ruthless and as devious. <laughs> the Mafia would love to have them working for him. Let's put it that way. So, how would you restore communications in a time like that where modern communications has been wiped out by the bad guys running the show? And that's a tough call. No pun intended. What they finally did in my movie... I can see there's something called the Bicycle Express. It's actually take off on the Pony Express, which was used in the Wild West to get news from town to town. I guess it's more mail-oriented. Uh, there's a mail delivery service and probably news from town to town. And that's what they use. In this movie, since not too many people own horses anymore, I conceived of the idea that they could have relays of volunteers taking news from one town to the next. Remember uh, uh, the Haystack Corners and Henry's Knee, they were getting ready to fight a nearly impossible battle with these mind-numbed uh, zombies that had been created. So one thing they did was they created the Bicycle Express where volunteers would ride from town to town and pass news along as far as what was going on. That's one thing that I conceived of in this movie as far as communication. And I think that was a big thing. Uh, American Indians had smoke signals and such. I had another idea that didn't actually come from this movie. It came from a short story that you can find online, by the way. It's called The Bandy Diary. And in that, mo that short story, what they would do is they these are humans that got abducted from Earth. They wind up on a planet. And they're using fireworks. Some of them smuggled fireworks on board the slave ship. And different colored fireworks stood for different messages. And they used those uh, to communicate on this alien planet that they get put on. That's another idea. It's a little cruder than something like Bicycle Express, but... For short-range communication between towns, that might work. I mean, what are you going to do if your cell phones are uh, knocked out, landlines are knocked out, and all you're getting is one uh, government channel telling you how great things are and just be good citizens? What are you going to do about it? So you have to get information from town to town as far as what's going on because in media, in this situation, if they do, if there is a coup, your media is going to basically tell you they're basically going to control all the information. You sign libraries with books until they take those down. But you won't have any computer, you won't have any. You know, you won't have any internet, none of that. 
So think about it. How would you restore communications, albeit crudely, when you can't really text and can't make phone calls because all you get is, sorry, number not available or something like that. You have the old paradigm, you know, maybe throw a bottle in the water and wait for it to drift on stream. Not terribly efficient. So if we do detect the coup that's uh, in progress, we're going to have to find a way to communicate and spread the news to Tom and Tom what's going on. You know, Paul Revere comes to mind. One of them by land and two of them by sea, and I on the opposite shore will be, you know, waiting for the Brit British to arrive. It's supposed to be somebody else, uh, some girl or some something did a great ride same night. I heard about once. But anyway, that's the basic thing right there. Is you're going to have to uh, make a choice. You're going to have to find ways to communicate and get all this set up in advance. It might be as simple as tying a certain colored ribbon on a tree so the passerby can get the message. It'll have to be coordinated with other towns, obviously. See, in my movie, these are small towns that are mostly affected uh, affected by the zombie hordes that come to attack them. And they use the Bicycle Express to take the news from town to town. That's about it for part two. I don't know if there's going to be a part three. These are very dangerous times, folks. I'm not screwing around. Uh, I'm very upset with what's going on. And I think this situation is highly volatile and highly dangerous. And I do think they would... They uh, probably will attempt some sort of physical event. I believe that 100%. And that doing this for clicks or anything like that. A matter of fact, some Mars, wake up, folks. We got big time trouble. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching.